The topic for today is the 98.5 Wake Up Crew. So there are a bunch of comedians that host a radio show in the morning. Um, and um, 98.5 is popular because they play a lot of like reggae music, like a lot of like the Hawaii reggae music. But I do not listen to that station because of those three jerks who make up the Wake Up Crew. And they have a long history of making fun of people going through struggles, whether it's disability, they make made jokes about a person going to sexual abuse and that we have documentation for that. They have made fun of like different racial groups, like they made fun of Micronesians, they made fun of Filipinos, they made fun of all the different um, ethnic groups. And and it, and now we have this um video from a um charity event where they had um Paula Funga, which is a um a Paula Funga is a well known local musician and she was saying her story about, you know, like growing up homeless and they made jokes about her. They made jokes to her about her struggles. Like they're making fun of it and like first she tried to laugh it up, but you know what? You can only laugh so well, laugh things so much until it makes and she started to cry and you know she left the stage. She got tired of this bullying from the wake up crew. And that's what they are, they're bullies. If these three wake up crew people were European American, they would have been fired a long time ago. Because people are like um now that Trump is gone, like people are gonna be less, you know, tolerant of this kind of crap. Yeah, but because these um, wake up crew, they're a um, mix of Polynesian Asian ancestries, they think they can get away with stuff that um. Don't, no time is up, right? Well, anyways, let's show this video. Okay, let me see. Um, hold on. Okay, so it's on. Sound like a host, okay, there. Okay, sounds okay. Hey, bro, just because you started singing, I gotta say my hollow to Restaurant Inaba on South King Street just donated because of your performance. Okay, sure, sounds good so far. Something I don't really talk about this part about it, but I I eat it from a trash can, you know what oh, I mean? Wow. When I was a little girl, you know. Okay. And it was like, um, I've I've been I've been hungry before, you know. And now, um, is it like right out the trash can, or do you put it on a plate first? Or <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's trying to laugh it off at first. Okay. No, like it's uh, I I could cry thinking about it. Yeah, oh, like, I got in you. the dark. With my hand mm -hmm. from a trash can. Okay. Like oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And that's what well, a visual. No, I mean, I mean, because it's dark. I'm sorry. Are this, we this too radio much about it. Oh, that's what this radio is about. And, and we, and we can't get everybody to get deeper into my soul. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right now. So I'm not this is gonna be soul. over. I'm not soul. You are alright. You are. Did you benefit from? Do you have a box of tissues? No, but we got a trash. We got a trash can right over there by the park. <laughs> Just in case she's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so they're still laughing. They're still laughing. I Where's Flash? Okay, so I'm still trying to laugh it off. Yes, I did okay, benefit okay. from the Hawaii food bank. Well, there you go. Thank you, Ron, Mr. Tani, and the gang yep. for uh, picking Island 985 with a thanks for giving. As we're live here in you can laugh things off, but then you can only laugh things off for so long, which you watching. People donated because she sings. Yeah, uh, Stephen has just added his donation as well, just right because on. Paula is singing as well. So a lot of people are donating because of our live artists. So we got to thank everyone. Kapona came in earlier. Paula Funga coming up. We're going to have Kilani, Legal Jordy. So much more entertainers, but again, thank you very yeah. much, Paula. For As uh, Crazy and I said, 66.2 okay, still going of the wake up crew gave this morning, and it was very easy to give. Yes, Roy, I agree with you, it was easy to give. Yeah, now, Vic, your turn. <laughs> two, two, two and a half minutes to send uh, whatever you want. You can send ten dollars, you can send a hundred dollars. Yes, Paula, pa looks like Paula wants to say something. Go ahead, okay, she's about to say something. Yeah, Vic, you make me cry. Oh. They still yeah, think so it's a joke. Sure. They're still yeah, laughing it off. Kids, even as an adult, they'll be still jerks that make fun of you and your pain and your, 
you know what I mean? Like, what the hell is your problem? I apologize. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so sad right now. I don't want to mm. say. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See that? Sooner or later, well, we your feelings will come up. Sooner or later. And, and because you're saying many people have donated so far, we definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys all text Turkey to 80888. Wow. That's Turkey mm -hmm. to 80888. And that's how we're doing it. We're doing it for a great cause. So that way families can eat this Thanksgiving. We're looking for a bunch of turkeys for $25. Mm -hmm. Gives up a 24-pound turkey is what we're donating, of course, to the families that are in need. So watch the guy coming up from the side. Watch. The, the, the See ya. 24 pounds. We talked around this Tissue. Time. She's they crying for real. She's, she's like, I'm out. Oh, I'm out. F this. Donated to a family uh, that's in need. And like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of yep. laughing it off. We all been there. Thank you, everybody. Who else is there? And again, look who's sharing this. Okay, I'm trying to like um, hold on. So the person that's sharing this. It's a comedian, Pashin Santos, and she's and she's offended by all this. So I don't want to hear people say, "Oh, you can't take a joke for too long, for too long." The people are afraid to to object to the wake up humor, wake up truth humor, because they're afraid of, "Oh, you can't take a joke." You know what? I'm not I'm not afraid of being accused of can't take a joke. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, I cannot take a joke. What are you gonna do about it? See these guys. They think that toughness is about making fun of people going through problems. They think that's what toughness is. No, toughness is standing up to people who cause problems. That's what toughness is. They're making fun of someone who is sharing her story of struggling to homelessness. And then when she broke down, they make a BS apology. I've been working in the school system for 15 years. I know the difference between a, a real apology and a BS apology. I know when, you know, when I was working in schools that, you know, kids will apologize and they really mean it and they vow to be better. I also know BS apologies, like what the Wake Up Crew is doing, making B <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, that's a BS apology and they'll continue to act the same way they've been acting until they get fired. If I was to make those kind of jokes, and any job I ever had, I would have been fired. That's how it is for most people's jobs. Is they act like these jerks, they would have been fired. But no, nobody wants to, you know, criticize the wake up crew because they're afraid that they're gonna make fun of me. They're gonna, I'm afraid that they're gonna accuse me of not taking a joke. I'm not afraid of being accused of not being able to take a joke. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of being accused of not being able to take a joke. I'm tired of Wake Up Crew. Now, I don't even, that, and they're the reason why I never listen to 98.5. Sometimes I'll listen to some reggae songs which that station plays. I'll listen to the other stations for that. But I don't have to listen to this crap from Wake Up Crew. And if, if any of you um, local musicians out there whose songs get played on 98.5, if you don't copyright your song, you can write the cease and desist for a letter to um or notice to the um 90.5 day. I'm not don't play my music until you get rid of these jerks, okay? Because they they don't continue to act that way until they get face consequences. And how would I notice? When I was a kid, I'll make these you know inappropriate jokes. What happened? I faced consequences. I faced painful consequences. And what happens in these painful consequences? You change your actions. You change your actions when you have to deal with painful consequences. If you're not facing painful consequences, guess what? You continue to act the same way you've always been acting. That's what the Wake Up Crew does. They, they're going to continue to act the way they act until they say, hey, you know, you can't do this anymore. You're fired. That's what 98.5 got to do to them. And people say, oh, wait, now people can be like, oh, you're, oh, what about a free speech and cancel culture? Again, free speech is only only means that you're not going to go to jail for saying stuff. I'm not saying put 90.5's wake up crew in jail. I'm not, I'm not going that far. I'm just saying fire them. Like, I work in a retail store. If I was to go to a customer and say, hey, does dress make you look fat? Yeah, and, and my, 
have, I mean, not go, go, go to jail for saying that, but guess what? I ought to be fired. Free speech doesn't mean you're entitled to a job. Free speech just means you're not going to go to jail. So, if I was to um, work in the retail uh, um, store and say, hey, you know, like, this dress look ugly on you, I'm not going to go to jail for it, but I'll be fired. And the stuff about cancel culture, I mean, is it bad or good? Depends. Like, is killing bad? I mean, it's bad to kill innocent people, but if you kill someone that's trying to kill you, I mean, that's okay, right? Like, or you kill someone to protect others. If it was a threat, you can kill them, but you don't go kill innocent people. Same thing with cancel culture is like, okay, sometimes it goes too far, like, you know, like, some people will accuse, like, you know, like, let's say, like, if someone disagrees with you and accuse them of racism just because they disagree. Not because they make any racial comments, but they may disagree with you and you accuse them of, you know, being racist just to get you. That be, that be cancel culture go too far, like, but these guys are actual racists. Okay? They, they make a lot of racist jokes about Micronesians like all the time. And they also make like fun of people with like disabilities. They, they make fun of a woman who would explain her stories about being homeless. I mean, again, like going back to the, um, the retail shop, like, again, if I was to say like, oh, this looks ugly on you, I would be canceled. That's how it is for most people. Or like, you know, going back to when I was working in the schools, like I was, I was say, oh, hey, hey, to the K, hey, you retarded. Guess what? I would be canceled. I would be fired. That's how it is when you have a job. You may not be go to jail for an opinion because that's what we teach is you don't go to jail for having an opinion, but you can be fired. So that's what I tell you the 9.5, like, get rid of the wake-up crew, like, there's a the reason why I don't even listen to that station. They want more people listening to their station? Get rid of the wake-up crew! It's a business decision, right? So I'm tired of it, and then, the, of course, people say, oh, why can't we forgive people? Again, these guys have been acting like that for years. These guys make fake apologies all the time. Only... Like, come on, like, and, they, and I don't want to hear this of oh, preach forgiveness, not a, yeah, maybe forget, you know, preach forgiveness, finally, you know, like, let's say a kid will, like, accidentally offended somebody and they realize it hurts and they'll stop doing it again. No, these guys, the wake-up crew laughs at people who forgive them. They think of them as gullible suckers. They laugh at people who, um, you know, who, who believe their apologies. They laugh at them as gullible suckers. They're going to keep acting like this. Until they get fired. Cancel culture. Like, yeah, well, I mean, sometimes it goes too far, I mean, but in any case, it's time to be canceled, okay? It's like, like sometimes people get canceled for, for ridiculous reasons. Like, maybe they just made a, a disagreement, but these guys are jerks. It's like, I wouldn't cancel someone who, you know, you know, maybe once in a while make, make a offensive unintentionally offended somebody. These guys are always offending people. Always causing trouble. They're bullies. They're bullies. That's what they are. And, you know, they defend themselves and say, oh, you can't take a joke. Or, you know, like, oh, you're sensitive, whatever. But again, if I was to act like that when I was working in the schools, or if I was to act like that working in retail, I'll be fired. I'll be canceled. Why? Because it's not good for the business. Yeah, so, um, yeah, what the wake up crew, okay? They, again, 98.5, I'm done with them already. Actually, I never, I was never started with them from the beginning because of those guys. Don't even bother with them already.